Welcome back to Computer Science Cafe. In the previous video we looked at while loops and using a true or false boolean operator to start the while loop and end the while loop. And in this video we're going to have a look at creating a quick guessing game and using a different method of starting and ending the while loop. Okay, so creating a guessing game I will get the computer to generate a random number and then I will get the user to guess the number and I will put the user's input into a while loop so they can continue guessing until they get the right number. So to start this off if I import uh, random uh, which is a library that we can use to generate the random number and then create a variable I'm just going to call this variable uh, num and then make that variable equal uh, the uh, use the, the random which we've just imported to generate a random integer and then to make this easy I'm just going to create an integer between 1 and 10. So this will save a random number into a variable called num. Now this here has to be exactly as I've typed it. It uses the random library to generate a random integer however this bit you can create whichever range of numbers you want just to see if that worked if we print num uh, I will leave this print on when I'm testing the program so I can see what the number it generates just to make my life easy in testing. Okay, so we can see it generated a number 10 there and if I run again a number 1 so each time that will generate a, a different uh, random number. Okay, so to start this uh, program off I'm going to uh, set the guess as something that it cannot possibly be just to get me into the while loop. So I'm going to make the guess uh, 0 and then I can say uh, something like uh, while uh, guess uh, is not equal to so I can do not equal to uh, num so here 0 cannot be equal to the number because it has to be between 1 and 10 which is why I set this to 0 so if it's not equal to num then and we set the guess here to 0 just to get us into this loop uh, then what do we want to do? Well firstly we want to ask the user to guess so I can um, um, now use this guess variable and allow the user to change the value of that. Now because this is going to be uh, a number I'm going to use an integer here because I'm going to compare it to a numeric value. So I'm making sure the user's input is an integer and input and then just a prompt for the user please enter a number um, between 1 and 10. Uh, let's put a space here to make that neat and I've opened two brackets here so I need to close two brackets at the end. Okay I now need to compare the user's input so I can say if guess is greater than num then I can tell the user uh, they guessed too high if I spell num correct here. Um, okay then I can print uh, just to give the user some feedback uh, you you guess too high. Um, okay, and then I can say um, Aleph, and this time we'll do if they guess too low. So Aleph guess is less than uh, num, then that means they guess uh, too low. Then, and if I just do a print. Uh, you guess too too low okay now don't forget with this loop if the guess does equal to the num then the uh, loop will break because here we said while well, guess is not equal to num so if the user does guess the correct number oops spelled uh, between wrong then it will automatically break. So let's just do one print statement outside of this loop. Uh, we can print uh, something like that is that is correct. And then let me run this to see if it works. Now I've left this print in here so I can see what the number actually is. So I know that the random number is two, just to test if I put one, okay, you guess too low. If I put three, okay, you guess too high. 
and if I put two, which is the correct one, hopefully it drops out and says that is correct. Okay, lastly, I'll just make this a little bit neater and let's add a score to this. So I can say, for example, um, I'll create a variable called score. Um, let's start the score off with 10 and then each time the user guesses correct I can say uh, for example score is equal to the current score minus one so I'm knocking one off each time they guess incorrect and then if I do the same here so this is saying the score equals the score minus one and then after they've guessed correct I can say uh, print um, your score is and then I can say uh, plus the string of score just to tell the user what their score is close two brackets there okay let's see if this works okay it's chosen two again uh, one and three and then let's go two again okay great uh, your score is except I spelled to uh, your incorrect so your score is eight which was correct okay lastly there's still at least one error with this so if I was to type in a letter because I've explicitly told Python this is going to be an integer my program will crash so I will just test this um, and then I will correct that problem as well okay so we're always getting getting two so I, I also want to run to check the random number because this is three twos in a row um, let me just type qwerty and this should crash okay this this crashes uh, so this is crashing because it's expecting a number yet I've passed an integer now what I can um, it's expecting an inter integer yet I passed a letter a string so what I can do here I can put this into a try um, try and accept method so if I try to do all of this and then if any of that program was to crash uh, I can do the exception accept and then just give a little uh, message so accept something like um, you entered an invalid value um, just to give the user a prompt there and then this is still inside the while loop so it will loop back around okay I'll run again and hopefully um, this time we won't get two as the number and I will try to put a string in and let's see what happens okay good we got a nine this time so if I select one okay you guess too low if I put a string in there okay you entered an invalid value so that string would have crashed the program but because all of this is inside that try method it went to the exception give the output and then loop back round so if I come back here I know the output is nine so if I put nine okay that's correct Okay, lastly, just to make my program neat, if I now delete the uh, print from there and then run this program again. Okay, this time I don't know what the number is, so let's guess three, I guess too low, guess seven, etc. Um, I still guess too low, eight, nine, and that's correct, and my score is seven. Okay, that completes this program. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget, all the code can be found at computersciencecafe.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.